hope. <laughs> Hi, Lewis. Nice to meet you. And it was no small hope. It was Dad. The Maginot line of family resistance. Things were going to be okay. Dad would take care of this guy. Now the Arnold men would stand together. Oh, God, Marissa. Marissa. Well, some of the Arnold men. No chicken? Lewis doesn't eat meat, Dad. Hey, just thought I'd mention it. No meat, Lewis? No. Meat, uh, meat just doesn't turn me on, really. Yeah, it's not what I heard, pal. <laughs> no meat, huh? Imagine that. I knew it. Dad would carve through this guy like a butcher carves through a pork loin. Oh, I heard, honey, why the Vanderers didn't go to Brian's funeral. They were in Chicago. Dick's mother had a stroke. One of the boys on our block was killed in Vietnam several weeks ago. Oh, I, I know. I mean, uh, Karen told me. Another meaningless death. I beg your pardon? I, I just meant that it's such a shame uh, a kid has to die for basically no reason. Were Broccoli anyone? I don't think it's meaningless when a young man dies for freedom in first country. I just have a little trouble justifying dying for a government that systematically represses its citizens. Oh, honey, try the potatoes. I put grated cheese on them. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means uh, that the United States government is responsible for the oppression of blacks, women, free speech. Well, perhaps, little lady, you'd like to go live in Russia for a while, huh? Oh, I, I think what Karen's saying is that... Look, uh, Buster... I happen to believe that freedom and democracy have certain advantages that communist dictatorships don't, and that is what Vietnam is all about. No, man, that's what they brainwash you to believe it's all about. They, they turn people into brainwashed morons. My hunch was that my father would not let being called a brainwashed moron at his dinner table go by unremarked. So, you think I've been brainwashed, do you, Lewis? No, no. Look, I think anyone... Who supports the American war effort in Vietnam is having the wool pulled over his eyes. I see. Just like they did with Korea. The hell do you know about Korea? I was in Korea. I lost a lot of good friends there. Daddy, that doesn't have anything to do with what we're saying. And they weren't brainwashed. There were brave men who weren't afraid to fight for what they believed in. Now, if you're afraid to fight, why don't you just say so? Why don't you just admit that you're chicken? You're damn right. I am chicken. I don't want to die like your friends. What do you think that you achieved over there? Hmm? Do you think that those people are free? They're not free, man. Except to buy Coca-Cola and uh, Nestle's Quick. Get loans from Chase Manhattan Bank. That's crap. You were used, man, and your friends were used. That's crap! Daddy, you never listen to what we say. Some of what we say is true. Don't accept all this death and then justify it. It is wrong. Your friends should be alive. They should be enjoying dinner and arguing with their kids just like you are. What do you know about it? Who the hell are you to say that? You see this man? This is my draft notice. In two weeks, I can go to jail. I can go to Canada. Or I can go get shot full of holes like your friend Brian Cooper. You keep thinking the way you do, Mr. Arnold. And these two will be next. And I just hope that's what they want. Excuse me. And so, after all, Karen left with Lewis.